Okay, so let's get started replacing this grip wrap and then I'll be able to show you what's actually inside the grip of this windless Royal Armories Type 14 arming sword. So here I'm, I uh, slid open the old leather, the original grip, with a knife and I'm peeling it back. Pretty easy to do, so the glue isn't uh, particularly strong. And here you can see the issue with how it was wrapped. Uh, so the, the wrapping was not put on evenly in an even secured way and that uh, green cord you can see there um, is wrapped around with spaces in between the cord which allows for those steep ridges on the final grip but if the glue isn't strong enough that's also a weak point. Uh, however, if it had been wrapped properly around the very tip, I think it would have been okay. But so, I choose to go with a tighter wrap, which I'll show you in just a minute. So underneath that green wrap, you have this beautiful uh, beach handle. I was pleased to see. Really nice, uh, really nicely shaped, solid beach handle. So here I uh, wrapped it up again with this thinner white thread which I wrapped tightly together glued on to the beach grip with wood glue so my ridges will be less marked but that's that's fine I prefer a more solid grip so here I have a my piece of leather that I've cut to size a lot of small uh, fidgety cuts to make sure the size fits perfectly uh, you can use any leather for this uh, I used a piece of an old leather bag I've done this before with a, a piece of an old, old second-hand ripped Calvin Klein jacket, so um, any source of leather can be useful for that. And then, of course, uh, I glued the leather on with wood glue and uh, wrapped it nice and tight with this cord to hopefully leave some imprinted marks into the final grip. So here I'm unwrapping the unwrapping the, the rope and revealing the final product. So here's the finished grip. Uh, the seam is uh, pretty neat, I would say. I'm hesitating if I should sew it or not for the sake of it being nice and solid, but I've swung the sword around a little bit and it seems to be, seems to hold in place very well. If, if, uh, if the sides start to peel away, I might consider sewing it. But so far, so good. So here's my my new grip. I think it looks pretty good. It is slightly the end result is uh, makes for slightly bigger grip than there used to be on the sword, which I'm not sure I like. I do like quite thin grips, but um, if I ever if I ever get tired of this grip, I can always remake another one as well. So that's what's that's what's cool with these swords. Uh, when, especially when they're nicely made like this, when they're, the base is a solid uh, uh, solid beach handle, then you can really do a lot with them. Alright, so thanks for watching, and until next time. <laughs>